It's been a little bit, but we're back. We got another haul, some new stuff, some old stuff, some new colors, and I'm here to try it on for you. All right, starting it off with an oldie but a goodie. Actually, an oldie but a goodie, but updated. So, first off, we have the Pacebreaker short. They have updated this. You know, the, the Pacebreaker have been around for, what, 10 years? Um, but it's a new version. Number one, I like to say I get everything Pacebreaker liner less. I don't like the liner because I wear underwear. Even if there's a liner in something, I still wear underwear. So all of the things that I've gotten with liners have actually cut out. So I just go with the liner less, but do, do you. Do what you know feels best for you. But I get the liner less, more breathable, in all honesty. So, never had this color before. This is, what color is this, babe? Wild indigo. Wild indigo. It's beautiful. I don't have very big thighs, but I feel like they flow nicely. They don't sit too wide, which makes your legs look even smaller. Um, this detail on the back, I love because it, it accentuates your booty a little bit. If someone has a small butt like me, it works pretty good. We got two super deep pockets, which has been a staple for Lulu in the men's department. All the pockets are awesome, um, with an additional pocket with a zipper on the right-hand side. Drawstring, obviously, and these are the five-inch inseams. I have both five-inch and seven-inch in the pace breakers. Not the nines, the nines are too long for me, but I go with both the fives and the sevens. Typically I find myself wearing the sevens in the winter and the fives in the summer, maybe because my legs are tanner, I guess. I'm not sure I'm willing to show more, but that's typically how I go. So I say it's in my pace breakers, I probably have 12 pairs. It's probably split half and half, five and seven, but I can't get enough of them. There's a reason why these have been my favorite Lululemon short for a long time. They're good for everything. I wear them to lift in. If you're going out for a run, if you're going for a walk, if you're just going out to do errands, they look tidy and good enough to pass as a well-groomed outfit as well. Okay, moving on to what may be taking over the pace breaker actually as my favorite short, training short for Lululemon. The balancer. These are the balancer short. They come in a six inch inseam. Is that it? That is it, Confirm, confirmation from Kelly. Like I said last, I wear both five and seven inch in the pace breaker, but I think a six inch inseam is my personal favorite in terms of a training short. These are an Everlux fabric. You know, if you're a male watching this, ask your significant other or a female in your life if they have any Everlux pants by, uh, by Lulu, what are they? Wonder Trains. They are super soft, super stretchy, but very light as well. It doesn't feel like you're wearing much at all but also they're cozy and soft. I don't know how to explain. Main reason why I love these so much is the fit. Um, I just think they fall on your leg really nicely, especially with the six inch inseam. They just, they're modest. They're not super, like too high, um, but they, they just look fantastic. They come in like four different colors. I think I have them all now. Everlux is their fastest drying material. It's great for sweaty workouts. You know, you can wear them on, I don't go on runs very much, but you can wear them on runs. I typically just wear them to train um, and to lounge because they are super comfortable. Highly recommend. I start with the black because black goes with everything. If you like the black, move on. I, got, I think I got bone, bone, and I got a, another pair of black that has like stuff on it. And then uh, this light blue, which I'm excited for, for the spring and the summer. Okay, so both of the other pants, the pace breaker and the balancer, I've had before. I've worn a lot but these are new colors and the updated version of the pace breakers. Now we're getting into the new stuff, brand new stuff. Um, so first we have the Utilitech Pull-On Classic Fit Pant. So it's more of a relaxed fit. Um, unless you have huge legs, then they're probably a classic fit or a straight, I guess it's just a straight fit. But the world is going away from the slim and skinny fit pants and more towards the relaxed classic straight fit pants. Um, a trend that I'm fine with, but I, I, I like my slim fit stuff, uh, but I'm willing to venture into the new things. And so last year I bought the new, new Venture, the New Venture trouser, um, and I like them. They're very light, they are soft, but they are a, a, a tiny bit baggier than I would prefer. 
and they are very, yeah, they are very flowy. So I like them, I wear them. I wanted something that I could dress up a little bit more um, to wear out to dinner, wear out to, you know, a night out. I think these are them. Um, again, they, they are a classic fit. I'm still getting used to it, but I do like how they fall. Um, they are made to fall around your ankle, so they're not baggy. They're just a little bit looser. Um, and I think that works out really well. They can be dressed up, but also, I mean, you got the elastic waistband with the drawstring, so you can definitely wear them down as well. Um, I tried to get a couple outfits on with these, one with just a shirt and then a couple button-ups to show some variety. The other ones are super flowy. These have a structured feel, which, you know, it's a cross between a jean and a chino, in my opinion. Um, they're, I mean, like you get, they, they feel like a, like a khaki pant almost. Um, for those who haven't tried the Utilitech from Lulu, they have them in like the, the commission pant has a Utilitech. Um, the shorts have Utilitech. Overall, because of the loose fit or the classic relaxed fit, they're super comfortable. Um, you're not going to feel stiff in any way, even though the fabric is a little stiffer than some of the stuff Lulu's put out. I really like these. I'm excited to, uh, to do some exploring with these and, wh and what I can do outfit-wise. Last but not least in the pants is a pant that they've had at least the style for a long time, but this is the first time I've seen them done like this. Introducing the ABC pull-on pant. I've been into joggers from Lulu for a long time. I have a bunch of pairs of the City Sweat joggers. I have a couple of the License to Trains at Ease jogger. Um, and I've been trying to move away from joggers a little bit. Not move away, but I want to ad adventure out, or venture out. And so I've been looking in just straight fit sweatpants. While these aren't like, sweatpants, they are sweatpants. They are extremely comfortable, super light, super flowy. These are the Warp Stream fabric. Um, if you try, they have, again, the ABC and the Commission come in a bunch of different fabrics. The Warp Stream is my personal favorite. It's the ones that I have my um, pants that I wear for golf and wear to work. They're super soft, four-way stretch. Um, this one, like I said, they're pretty much sweatpants. They have the elastic waistband, draw string. Again, like all Lulu stuff, nice deep pockets on either side with a zipper pocket in the back. I do have one complaint about these. They are super comfortable very soft. I see myself wearing these at home and to, and to run errands in, but I just wish that either they did one of two things. And this is my personal preference. They either had a zipper down here so you could pull the zipper up and they'd fall better on, on shoes because I feel like they don't quite fall my shoes how I would want them to for a relaxed fit. They kind of bunch up just a tad bit um, or they flared them out a little bit. But that's just me. I don't know. I had to try them with different shoes on. Uh, maybe my, like a, a, a chunkier shoe. I don't know, that's, a, that's part of my wardrobe. I really need to tighten up is my shoes. But overall, these are super comfortable. They are what I was looking for in terms of a relaxed fit sweatpant that doesn't have the cuff at the bottom. And I'm glad I found them. There's a bunch of colors in these as well. Uh, this is the charcoal. No, what do they, what do they call this? Graphite gray. Graphite gray, maybe? Anyways, Kelly will put it on the... But I'm I'm a, I'm a fan of these. If you are looking for a relaxed fit sweatpant, you could you could dress up a little bit. You could put a, a flannel on with this, with some you know with some white shoes and, and and go out for dinner. Obviously, for sure. I think I'm a lounge in these. Okay, done with the pants. I think we found some winners in the pants. Some things that I will 100% wear. One of them I'm planning on wearing today. And now we're on to shirts. Now there's four things here. I am I would be. So there's four shirts here, three of which I'm, two of which I really, really like, and I am super excited to start wearing them more. One of which I'm on the fence about, and the other one I'm not a huge fan of. So let's start with the one I'm not a huge fan of. Like I said in the intro, I mostly wear slim fit stuff, especially in shirts. Worked hard to get a nice physique going, a physique that I can be proud of. Relaxed fit stuff on my body, on my top makes me look smaller, which not a ton of guys want to look like smaller as in like skinny, you know? So I feel like, I just feel like that's what this shirt does to me. It's super soft. This is called the License to Train Relaxed Short Sleeve. Um, it's got a, a dry sense feel to it. The fit is just completely different. The dry sense 
fits tight in your in your shoulder and through your arm, but like and, and through your chest and then relaxed down towards your waist. This one's just a relaxed fit everywhere. Let's be honest with ourselves. When I go to the gym, I like to see my pump. I just don't think I'd, I don't think I'd get that with this. And that's where I'd wear this shirt is to the gym. I, you know, for $78, I don't think I would, it's worth it just to, to lounge in it. Um, Cause it is a pricey shirt. That's really the only thing I don't like about it. It's a, it's a great fabric. It's super soft. It is functional and it's breathable. It's super breathable, but it's just, it's just not the way I like my clothes to fit. There it is. I do like all the details they put in their shirts. Have you guys noticed that? This one says better each day, be better each day. Okay. So went from the shirt I'm not a huge fan of. Now let's talk about the one that I am on the fence about. I think, I think I like it but I need to experiment with more outfits. I think maybe it's a jeans shirt, if you know what I mean. When I think of Lulu over shirts, this is the one I go to immediately. It is super soft. It is, it fits really well because it's it's, it's just a slimmer fit. Um, I, I just think it looks fantastic. Uh, the only thing I would change on this, in my opinion, this one here, the soft knit over shirt, I believe, it's not available right now, I don't think, um, is I'd put buttons instead of these, like real buttons instead of these snap buttons. But it's not a big deal at all. Now, the reason why I'm on the fence about this shirt, this shirt, by the way, is the relaxed fit long sleeve button up, is number one, that it's a relaxed fit. You know, like I said before, I'm still getting used to the relaxed fit stuff. While when I put it on, it is comfortable. I can put it on, you know, in the description, they say you have permission to put your legs up. And I do feel that way when I wear this. Like, I feel like this is a bonfire shirt, if you know what I mean. You throw it on, you can even put a sweatshirt on underneath it. Um, for like a colder night in the spring and summer and fall, but I'm still getting used to the relaxed fit. And then number two, material that is this is made out of, I'm just not sold on it yet. So it's it's not soft, it's a textured fabric. You know, it, it stretches through the shoulder, but the sleeves, the sleeves aren't quite stretchy. Now, that doesn't matter all that much, number one, because it is a relaxed fit. You know, it's not a slim fit where you feel stiff. You don't feel stiff in this. It's just not super soft, but I definitely think I have a few occasions in mind where I can wear this. Like I said, a bonfire would be great. Um, I think you can throw this on with jeans and an undershirt and wear this out to dinner. I mean, it looks nice, it's very quality. Again, something with these is you gotta pay attention to how they're expensive, they're costly. If you're gonna buy a shirt that's a hundred over a hundred dollars like this, you wanna make sure you have a number of occasions that you can wear it. It's not just gonna sit in your closet and be money burning, essentially. So I have a, a, a number of occasions I can wear this at. I'm just on the fence. We'll see. You know, in the next few months, I think I'm gonna be able to make a decision. I will update you. Two more. So the last two, you know, the license to train relaxed short sleeve. I'm sorry, when I, I'm looking down, I'm looking at, make sure I have the exact name for it. Not my favorites. The license to train is probably not gonna work for me. The relaxed fit button up, I think will work. I just gotta get used to it. Gotta find some outfits to wear with. These next two, I am 100% sold on, I love them already, and I will wear them probably today. The one that I love, and the one that I see myself wearing often in the spring and summer, and the fall, honestly, is the Fast and Free jacket. The reason why I love this so much, well, there's many. Number one, I like how it fits. It fits like the slim fit, like I like. Um, the color is fantastic to wear, you know, with black, you want with blue. It's almost got like an olive, olive color to it, but called carbon dust, I think. Look at, look at this. You can pack this down super tight to keep in a backpack. Like when I, when I think of this, and what I like to do with clothes is when I buy it, I like to think of the outfits I can wear. This, there's so many, but my favorite two would be, like we have, we have a spot near us that we like to go grab coffee. And in the morning in the summer, when it's 60 degrees-ish, this is the perfect thing to wear over a t-shirt when you're going to the, get the coffee shop. But this, is designed to work out in as well. If you're a runner and you go on morning runs or night runs, this is perfect to keep you a little bit warm to protect you against the breeze. When you're running, it's perfect. Uh, I also see myself wearing this if I'm golfing, like early in the morning. Oh, this would be perfect. Easy to take off. Oh, think about this. You wear this in the morning when you're golfing. You know, when the dew's still out there, when it's a little bit chilly. I didn't even do a good job. But you pack this up, throw it in your golf bag, don't need to worry about it. Never forget it. Lululemon, you need to hire me for some marketing stuff. Man. Look at that, perfect. So anyways, like I said, fabric, super light. It's breathable, but it's also protective against the breeze. 
Um, the full zip here, it's got a bunch of pockets here, pockets on the side, all zip. It's got vents here in the sleeves. And I just, I just really enjoy the, the way that this fits. It's stretchy at the bottom, but it's not constricted. You know, it's, it falls pretty straight down. Overall, I give this shirt an A. With this this jacket and A, I am excited to wear it. Like I said earlier, I'll probably wear it today because we got a mid 50s to low 60s day here in Ohio. This is the perfect scenario to wear this. Last, but certainly not in the least, the jacket and this are potentially my two favorite, my two favorite items from this. Um, again, it's brand new to me, but I've had things similar to it in the past, and that is the French Terry oversized half zip. Here it is in all its glory. Now, I have a fair amount of experience with the French Terry stuff from Lulu. I wore, or all the city sweat stuff I have is French Terry, I believe. I have a few other French Terry, um, like oversized sweatshirts, but this is the first half zip. A continued theme here is a rela re relaxed and oversized fit stuff. I'm still getting used to it, but I fell in love with this as soon as I put it on. It is relaxed fit, but it, it doesn't feel bulky. It doesn't feel boxy. It's just because it, I mean, because it's so soft, it just flows really nicely. Um, it's got a cuff at the bottom here, like you'd find on the, the City Sweat stuff. Um, zipper pocket, which is ideal here for your phone. It's, it's a small pocket, but it's, it's, it's good enough for your phone. It's quarter zip, or sorry, it's a half zip, so it goes down pretty far. I tried to show in the video of me trying it on, you can wear it collar up or collar down, whichever one you. I'm not a guy who likes to zip it all the way up. I think that, I don't I don't like the way that looks, especially on me, but you can if you want to. And it's just, I mean, it's just a super soft, very relaxed fit. Again, it's a pricey item, but it's super quality. And I th I know that I'm gonna wear this enough to have get a return on my investment. It's just up to you whether you think you will. It's a fantastic gift. Fantastic gift for maybe like someone like your dad. This is, I mean, this is this is perfect dad shirt, is it not? I mean, imagine your dad going to work. He's got a, a button up on. It's the fall, and you throw this on over your button up. Now, personally, me throwing these on with the ABC pull on pant and just relaxing, because you can like I love things when I think of relaxed fit or relaxing in clothes. I don't think of pajama pants personally. My type of relaxed pant or relaxed outfit is one that you can be relaxed in, but if you need to, you can throw on shoes and be out the door going to do something, going to get a coffee, going to the grocery store, something like that. Because I'm, I, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm always on the move doing something. And so I need something that I can be relaxed in, but I can also put a shoes on, maybe a hat and get, get out the door. So this is perfect for that. It's super nice looking, but you can dress it down, you can dress it up, you can do whatever you want. So, that's all we got. Eight pieces, most of which I liked, two of which I'm meh on. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I can put some wardrobes together that I, you know, can think that I can make that piece worth it. Worth it, if you know, you know. Um, but, that's it. You know, this is the first time I've done a, a haul in quite a while, so I apologize for the rust. I'll, I'll make sure to do a, a summer one so I can stay on my game. Um, Kelly's gonna have to make a lot of cuts in this video. Hey, Kel. I need the name of one of these, so I apologize. There it is. Again, when it comes to Lululemon, I wear all mediums because I am 5'11 and 175 pounds. So there's that. But again, when it comes to Lululemon, they have a high price tag on most, if not all, of their items. Um, so you've got to decide if it's worth it for you to own these clothes. If you're gonna wear them a lot, I definitely think Lulu is, is worth the price because they have a very good warranty on their clothes. You know, you can take them back. If, if something happens to them that's not you, you did something, you can take them back and they will replace it or they'll fix it. So you gotta <coughs> keep that in mind. Um, Kelly's done that, I've done that, it's been great. Um, but again, I'm not trying to push this stuff on you if you can't afford it or you don't think that it's worth the money. I don't think anything out there is, if, if, if it's gonna cause you to regret buying it or if it's gonna cause some angst because you just dropped $125 on a, a sweatshirt, it's not worth it. To me it is because I know I'm gonna wear it, it's all I wear, um, but make that decision for yourself. 
Hope you liked it. I hope you liked the review. I hope I did a, a decent job explaining. Um, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments if I remember. Kelly's got to remind me. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great whatever day it is for you when this goes up. Or whenever you see it. Goodbye. <laughs>Let's see, how am I gonna start this, guys? Once I get going, I'm sure you face the same problems. I need to be energetic, right? I need to hook them. You better watch this whole video or else. Is that good? That's TikTok. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. <laughs> hey Cal, I need the name of one of these. I need the name of one of these.